Hey guys, hey guys, welcome. It's Monday and welcome to the Damien Oliver Show. I'm so excited that you're able to stop in with me and to hang with me for a little bit. Uh, a lot of us don't like Mondays and for me particularly, Monday is not the best day of the week. Uh, but I find myself, the more that I get into my routine, the more that I get to feel as if like Monday is just a lot like, uh, like Friday. Uh, you know, many times we kind of like focus so much about the things that are beyond our control right and then because it's beyond our control and because it's routine sometimes it makes us feel as if like what's the sense in doing this like what is the what is the goal why am i doing this like so many questions right and that's that's valid that's absolutely valid however i think it should always focus on just some positivity into the whys, right? Whenever we're finding ourselves getting into a space of just questioning like the why, the why is just something that allows us to uncover new opportunities and to kind of like dive in and figure out like what is going on with my life? There's something here that just doesn't sit right. There's something here that needs to change, right? And this is a great time for you to kind of figure out like how am I gonna do these things, right? So the point is, is that we have to find good in everything that we do. Everything that we do in life, there's some good, there's some things to learn, there's some things to improve, um, but we have to understand that, right? And just don't understand, you know, just don't focus so much about like the things that we are not in control of. A lot of times we also tend to do that where we focus on the things that is beyond our control. We can't figure out everything. We don't have all the answers to everything. Um, but it's good when we know what our limits are and then we kind of figure out how are we going to get the help that we need to be better at whatever that task is, at whatever that situation is, right? So I had a couple conversations this week. Well, I keep on saying this week, but last week, technically, with a few people who had some questions about being in relationships and, you know, being in a relationship where you have to work with someone who has emotional disconnect. So they're disconnected, right? And, you know, for persons who are disconnected, it's a really... A tough situation to be in because now you got to understand where that person is and where that ma- that mind frame is and why they're distracted from a situation when people get distracted or you know distance or you know detached for many many different reasons sometimes it's not even your battle to understand sometimes you just have to understand where people are operating in and people are operating at a frequency where they know some people do not want to open up because it creates vulnerability. And when they're not in control, then it's a hard thing for them to do for maybe many reasons. Maybe it's something that has nothing to do with you, but it could be something that happened from, from their past that they've just not been able to move on from. And because of that, they put up walls because they're like afraid to let those walls down because they don't know whether or not you're going to be safe enough and you're gonna, whether or not you're gonna disappoint them. So to avoid the disappointment, they put up these walls in an effort to avoid going through that, whatever trauma or feeling that they had in the past from situations like that. Is it possible to love someone who is, you know, emotionally unavailable, who is, you know, I think that's really come down to the individuals that are in that situation. Whether you feel like a soul tied to that individual or if you feel as if the person is worth it. And if they're making progress, you know, if you bring it to their attention and you're telling them what it is and they're like, they're able to identify and, you know, say, hey, I may need some help. Then maybe if that's the case and they're open to like therapy or open to changing, yes, that would be a great opportunity for you know, growth, because it shows that they're willing to put aside um, what they're feeling and how they operate in order for the, the better good of the relationship. And, you know, just for you and for them to actually grow. That shows a lot of trust and growth. So here's the thing. 
I feel as if like when it comes down to relationship, they're all different. You got to know who you're with. You got to know what the person likes or dislikes are. And you got to also find a way to figure out if you guys are on the same page, right? And if your guys are on the same page, um, then, you know, who am I or who in the world can tell you that it doesn't work? You got to figure this out for yourself. So get to know your, your partner, conversations, communication, it's really essential. So when those conversations are happening, then there's hope. So thank you so much for listening. Hopefully this gives you some insights on the questions that you ask. And um, yeah, stay wonderful. Enjoy the rest of the week. Hopefully we talk before the end of the week. But yes, it's Monday. And let's go out here and kill it for the rest of the week. Stay positive. Stay true and have yourself a wonderful day. Again, this is Damien Oliver. Thank you for joining and have a great day.